three big incidents that didn't go our way. More injuries. You know, we took the lead twice but failed to beat Liverpool. People deluded. I'm back again. It was a four goal thriller. It 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 was a it's a game of many talking points on the topic of Arsenal Liverpool. Yeah. While I'm offering my thoughts, you lot don't forget to comment yours because I want to hear you lot's viewpoints. I must admit. It's a mixed bag for me. It's a mixed game of emotions. And honestly, I don't know where to start now. Going into the game, we all knew there was injuries. While even if we won, which we didn't, or we lost, which we didn't, you know, the talking points, this is where the title is over and whatnot. I think the real winners are Manchester City. They took care of business. They've seen the two people that are aspiring to pip them. You know, whether it's Klopp. I don't know if Liverpool were spoken about being title contenders. You'd have to ask them in August. But end of the day, results dictate where you are. Slots men been doing well. Last two seasons we've been up there and is expected to be the third so Manchester City the real winners um I personally I don't want to be that guy and I'm not saying this to to negate anything that you saw in the game people but for me if you offered me a point before the game I would have bit your arm off people because Liverpool, form goes out the window Liverpool are in great form our form isn't terrible we've got one loss this season but what we're seeing across 90 minutes is is poor. And actually on that as well, my one big criticism for the team today would be, and Mikel Arteta said it, I, I don't really want to go this far, but I think we lack, lacked courage. I think there was a handbrake. Now, I cut the team a bit of slack because there was a bit of injuries. We know if we open up and we try a thing, we're going to get in trouble. But it's impossible, not impossible, but it's impossible to sit back for 90 minutes, kind of what we was doing in the second half. You know, Saka, Saka had Robert Robertson on toast. We didn't really do present anything was living dangerously obviously it was a step too far for us to obviously win the game and to be fair a bit like when Manchester City equalised and when Liverpool equalised to see these teams going absolutely bonkers when they when they get into the back into the game against Arsenal people is is crazy but I just think I wanted to see a lot more in the final third in the second half I wanted to see a bit more courage in that I wanted us to gamble a bit more but again I'm saying gamble if you gamble you could lose because I do think the boys are damned if, if they do damned if they don't I think if I saw the attacking intent that I wanted to see in the second half and Liverpool went and scored two goals and evidently we walk away with nothing it would have been an issue for me now obviously I'm taking it out of context but it is a game again where for me so like I said the second half I weren't happy but it's a game where we've taken the lead twice not got the free points you throw that with the uh, Brighton game as well and when you look at it all you can look at is points on the board that we've got and points that we've dropped which again out of context two against Manchester City because we were leading the same goals for Brighton and the same goals for Liverpool people um I personally think because of what we didn't do in the summer, whether that's have depth, uh, fair enough, we've got defensive depth, which is being tested. You know, I think we probably had to use Timber a lot more than we wanted to. Obviously, Kivio's come on because Gabrielle's got her. Uh, they, they, we're dropping like flies, you know. We ain't got no defenders. I, it's so mad that me as a Sunday league fullback, I'm starting to believe, yo, if Arteta shouts me, I can buy a game, people. So I'm not happy with the goals. I knew Liverpool would score, you know. They didn't have many chances, but, you know, I don't feel... You know, I think, yeah, I don't feel they had many chances. I did feel, you know, Moreno who had a decent game and obviously scored. And, you know, to see him score from that set piece just after we tried that before was good. But he had a sloppy pass that, you know, thankfully it didn't go in. You know, Diaz was, you know, Diaz, I think Robertson was okay, but I think Saka gave him a good test. I think Partey did very, Partey's been in great form and I think he did very well at right back. Got cooked a couple of times, lost the battles, but won the war. Um, So, yeah, and I, I, like I said, I want to see a bit more attacking intent. In a positive way, as an Arsenal fan, I'm disappointed by Liverpool. Listen, take nothing away from what Arnslot and Liverpool's doing, but I personally think seven, eight, nine games into the season, too many conclusions, good and bad, is being drawn against Liverpool. And I think if, if if this game was a movie from the Liverpool perspective, not saying Arsenal was amazing, the trailer was a lot better than the movie. I don't feel they moved the ball with any real intention. I don't feel they really, you know, it weren't all action, a great informed side. You wouldn't know anyone's form across that game, which obviously I like as an Arsenal fan. Um, I think Liverpool only only kind of scared me the first 10 or so minutes and really in the second half when we just sat back and you knew at some point Trent's going to find a good pass. Big up Benjamin White and Saka combined in Saka. You, we didn't even know if he'd be into this game. Lovely finish from him. Lovely ball from Benjamin White. I think Declan Rice stood up tall today. People have had a lot to say about him this season. I thought Declan Rice stood up tall. Um, disappointed as well to concede from a set piece. I think it was unnecessarily in what led to that corner um 
And we need to get back to our high standards defensively. We need to get back to defending set pieces. Great. Arteta said in the week, Liverpool are good at set pieces. We conceded a set piece from Bournemouth the week before and Lightning struck twice. So, yeah, I think, you know, the team mucked in. I, I do think some fans have been a bit harsh on Martinelli. I think Martinelli is quite wasteful and you want to see a bit more, but defensively he did his job. I think Kai Havertz did his thing. I think, you know, I don't know why that goal didn't stand. I don't know why we didn't get a penalty and there's definitely another, you know, I don't know why Van Dijk probably didn't get two yellows. I do think us Arsenal fans do the woe is me thing, but these things could have went left. Um, so, yeah, man, I would have taken a point going into the game. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed not to win. I have to praise the boys because you played a lot better than I thought. You know, big up young Lewis Skelly and, and, and Ethan for their little cameos. Respectfully to Lewis Skelly and Kivio, I, I, we all knew a goal was going to come down that side. Through, take nothing away from Lewis Skelly. I just think at that point... It was too much of a mixed match team. You know, Raya made some good saves for us. I think it was too much of a mixed match team. And I think when you lose Gabriel, you, le you lose a leader. I'm not saying that to criticise Kivi or anyone, but anyone who's played football, you need someone just, just galvanising. And I do think to a degree, that as much as I think the players lacked a bit of courage by Arteta's words in the second half, I can understand not wanting to fly forward because they're not idiots. They're looking left and right. Oh, there's no Saliba, there's no Gabriel. You know, Zin I'm pretty sure Zinchenko's on the bench. Zinchenko's stock's on the floor, isn't it, really? Young Lewis Skelly, spring chicken, fresh out the Halen womb really it playing in a game of this magnitude so it could have been better it could have been worse you know I don't know how we didn't get to take that last corner as well but it is what it is in that regards all we can do is go again um, so yeah you lot let me know your thoughts on what, how you feel the game went big up you lot I have to say sorry for not bringing out a watch along people that's because I was on talk sports watch along you know trying to make one day movements but on that note you lot stay safe stay blessed peace <laughs>